Hi guys, welcome to your 11th tip of the week. This week we're going to be talking about camouflage units. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, to begin with, we're going to be talking about the British forces. So the British forces have only three units that can camouflage. This being the British sniper seen here in camouflage. Then we have the commando squad of five men. Available from uh, two commanders, being the vanguard commander, being able to spawn out of a glider. And being able to call in from another commander, the commando commander. Uh, infiltration commanders with the land mattress uh, mobile assault commander. They're four man instead of the five man. The difference between these two squads is the is the, the five man squad can plant a demolition charge where the uh, the four man squad cannot. And then uh, a misconception with some people is that the air landing officer has camouflage, which he does not. As you can see, he's vet three. He's on some cover there. He's not benefiting from camouflage at all. Next, we're going to be talking about the the Americans. Now, the Americans only have two squads that can camouflage. These being the Pathfinders and the R and R Pathfinders. And uh, over here we have the so next we're going on to the Soviet unit. So here we have the Soviet sniper. He can camouflage. We have the partisan and a uh, tank hunter unit that can camouflage. Now with this mod, these um partisan troops, uh, the infiltration partisans with the partisan commander, these guys can camouflage, but unfortunately in this mo uh, mod that I'm using they don't, but they do. So if you do decide to use the the, uh, the partisan commander, um, the ones that have the PPSHs, um, though, those are the ones that can also camouflage. Um, and irregular, Soviet irregulars do not camouflage. So that's from another command that come with an LMG equipped or like a DP or some kind of, um, you know, uh, handheld weapon. Um, but yeah, these guys can't camouflage. Next, on to the OKW units that can camouflage. Now, as you can see here, Jaegers, uh, Vet 1 and 0, do not gain from veteran, uh, do not gain from camouflage. They only unlock the camouflage ability at Vet 2, as seen here. There you go. And the same thing applies with Fulkshamiga squads. Here's a Fulkshamiga squad, um, Veteran C uh, 0, and even if I give him Veteran C 1, he still doesn't gain camouflage. But over here we have a, a, a um, Fulkshamiga squad with Vet 2, and see if as soon as I vet this squad up to Vet 2, they immediately gain their camouflage, right? So, only these two, the Jaeger and the Fulkshamiga squad, gain camouflage at Veteran C 2. Now we move on to Aussie units that can have camouflage. Now here we have the Stormtrooper squad, that can gain camouflage straight away, and this is only available from the elite troops commander. Uh, we have also the Soviet, uh, sorry, the Austria sniper, and over here we have an OKW unit that can gain camouflage, which is the Goliath. Now this is only available from one commander um, in the OKW selection, and uh, this unit is very good to act as a trap to blow up enemy units. Uh, as you can see, as it, as it goes out of cover. It loses its camouflage very quickly. So the best thing to do with this is have it just lying in wait. And then uh, and as soon as an enemy unit comes past, it quickly then move quickly towards it and then blow up like that. And hopefully you might be quick enough to kill um, some enemy units. But Goliath is a very risky play and a person can probably hear it moving through the fog wall as it does make a distinctive sound. I get camouflage. Now here we have the Soviet Ziz gun. Right, so the Soviet Zizgun can gain camouflage only with a specific command, a specific set of commanders. There's an ability in that commander tree that allows Zizguns to gain camouflage, right? Now also, with Ostia units, there is other commanders that also allows um, you to be able to buy camouflage for I infantry like Grenadiers and MG42s, but again, that's for certain commanders. Now on to units that, uh, other units that can camouflage. We have over here, vehicles. And support weapons we have that don't need a commander um, to gain camouflage. However, both the Jagdpanzer and the uh, the P2 can only gain camouflage at Veteran C1. So as seen here, it's the Veteran C1. You can see, you can highlight over the star to give you some information. Cautious ability movement, which makes the unit hard to detect and it gains camouflage. So I press V, the, the hotkey, or hit or click the button there, and you can see it has gone camouflage. Same thing with the Jagdpanzer. Press V, and it becomes invisible as well. However. A slight thing to add with the P2, um, you might have, try and have it on hold fire, but the um, the main gun won't fire, but the um, the coaxial machine gun will fire. I think this is a bug with the game, so don't rely on this this ability too much with the cautious movement um, with the P2 because it doesn't really work currently. It's a bug in the game that needs to be fixed. Um, so now on to uh, the Raketan as well. The Raketan can uh, now camouflage automatically without any veteran C in this current patch. So this is very useful for setting up ambushes, and you can also have it on um, uh, engage, 
engage enemy vehicles only, so that helps it be able to become a good um, ambushing unit. Okay, next I want to talk about a little trick that you can do with your Yagpanzer, which allows it to negate tulip rockets. So, here's my Firefly, and I'm just going to reverse back here to show you that there is a Yagpanzer, an enemy Yagpanzer, using its camo ability. And we're going to try and reverse away here. My Firefly is going to fire at it. But look, it's going to go invisible now. And look, where's it gone? And I'm going to try and fire my tulip rockets at it, right? But these tulip rockets are going to go right through it and miss it entirely. And, and, the, and the Yag Panzer was right there. So if you see an enemy Firefly about to engage your Yag Panzer, immediately pop on um, your cautious movement ability. And that way, those rockets will just go straight through your tank and do no damage at all. Now, personally, I think this is a bug with the game, but it's a nice little trick that you can do to save your Yag Panzer if it gets caught out. Okay, next I want to talk about units that are really good at detecting um, camo units in camouflage. So let's go through them in order. So to start off, we have the Ostias 222 Scout Car. And then onto the OKW, we have the Infrared Half Trek and the Kuba Wagon. Then onto the British Forces, we have the Valentine Tank and the Bren gun and then on to the Americans with the M20 and the WC-51 military truck and then the Soviets their M3A1 scout car. Now let's talk about the infrared half track first of all for being a very good unit for spotting enemy units. So what I've done here is I put an enemy uh, commando team hidden um, over here. Now let's turn the fog war off quickly and as you can see the infrared half track goes round and we spot the commando squad hiding in the camouflage, uh, hiding in camouflage within these uh, this trench system here. Now the same thing can be applied with the the Valentine tank. If I pop on the Valentine tank's ability as well, he also has this um, you know uh, huge uh, ability to be able to spot units through the fog of war. So as you can see, the radar on the mini map come round, and you can spot the uh, the commando squad in cover. Um, even though they are in camouflage. Now, as you can see, the uh, Valentine um, ability is much greater than the infrared half track. So this, um, you know, the Valentine get, doesn't get used that much, but it has a very good unit ability to be able to detect enemy units in camouflage. Okay, in this next bit, I want to show you the detection radius of all these units that are supposed to be good at hunting down camouflage units. So let's start with the two to do first. Now, all of these units should have roughly about the same amount of detection radius and as I put the camouflage units of the commanders there still as my um, 2 to 2 gets, gets a bit close to it we spot them right so there you go there's the distance between myself and those camouflage units now let's rinse and repeat with the same unit over here they've gone camouflage again bringing in the Kuba wagon so roughly about the same distance there you go that spots the, uh, the camouflage units now the Bren gun. Wait for the camouflage again. Bring in the Bren to spot these camouflage units. And there you go. It's all about the same distance from this end, from this end side of the road here. Now the M20. Again, the same inside of the road. Now the WC51 truck. Again, inside of the road. And lastly, the M3. And there you go. Right the inside of the road again. So as you can see, all of these six units from different factions uh, have roughly about the same amount of detection radius. And you should be using these units to spot camouflage units uh, if you suspect them um, running around and causing havoc. Now let's just also show you the detection races of like a medium tank, a P4. Now this P4 is going to run in and you can see that this unit has a poor detection radius and I can, it's going to take me to get a lot closer to these commanders to spot them. So now look, I'm the other side of the road, you know, I've crossed the road now, I can't even see those commandos, still really close to those commandos, I've still not spot them. And now I need literally to be, look, look, I'm really I'm on top of them and I need to literally Look, I can't even see them. They are still there, and I'm not even spotted them. It's absolutely ridiculous. Oh, there they go. But you get the idea. You know, the command, the, the tank needs to be very close to the enemy unit to be able to spot it compared to the, all these other units. 
I'd also like to show you another ability that the Tutu has specifically, which is really good at spotting enemy infantry in camouflage. So once the Tutu 2 gains a stripe of veterancy, it has the ability called infantry awareness that costs 10 munitions. Now if I pop this ability, it allows me to spot units who the, the, um, who are in camouflage through the fog of war. So I'm going to move over here. Now look, I have purposely put down some camouflage units here. Now look, on my mini map, we go over to the tactical map now. We can see that there's an enemy unit now there, but I can't see it because they're in camouflage. So it allows me to detect them like on the on the mini map um, while I have this ability active, but I can't actually see them physically. I know they're there. So this is a good way to spot enemy units without the opponent recognizing that you've spotted them. Again, so I'm going to pop the ability. The Immediately done. spotted this um this uh. This commander squad. Look at the distance I am from it. So the commander squad's on this sandbag. I'm going to move forward further as well. There's another one I put here, and there should be another one here as well. So if we go a bit closer, as you can see again on the mini map, that we've spotted these three commander squads. And if I get closer to prove that they are there, and there you go, there you are. They are there. So next, I want to show you about recon runs. So, for instance, like the major recon run is great for using to spot an enemy. Uh, any positions or enemy units that might be in camouflage. So here you go. Here comes a recon run. Um, it's coming over over here. And as like those commanders, were as you saw, they were still there. And now they are being revealed by the plane overhead. There you go. Same thing with the, uh, the like the air landing officer recon flyby. Um, slightly different to the commander as uh, the major one, but the same principle applies. Here comes the the plane very soon. Here it comes now off on the mini map. As you can see, here comes the plane. And this one you can't see, unfortunately. It's like an invisible plane. But um, again, has, it does the exact same thing and it reveals that there are commando squads in this area. One other ability that I'd like to show you, um, which I, I'm quite a fan of, is putting um, the commander ability of designate command vehicle from the British forces. Uh, onto a Bren gun in particular because why a Bren gun? It's cheap, it's affordable and the ability um, makes that unit practically uh, useless in terms of its combat ability and therefore you putting on a cheap crappy Bren gun carry would be a good idea. So here we have a Bren gun and this is a free um, recon ability and all you have to do is just activate it every time you have the chance to and a plane will just keep circling around the battlefield for 90 seconds, right? This plane can be shot down but it will be revealing enemy units and as we can see I've put some enemy units here and they are being spotted when the plane is going overhead. So here there's some Fortune Jaegers and these Jaegers. Now this is a great ability to have and keep on activating when um, you know you want to be able to spot enemy commander units and uh, take out enemy sniper. As you can see, the plane uh, crashed quite easily to those base base artillery pieces. So um, you know, use this ability wisely before the plane gets shot down. So you make that time it's in the air count. Next, I want to talk about Pathfinder beacons. Now these are also um, things that are, allow you to spot enemy units through the fog of war and also camo units. So as we can see on our, on our mini map down here, um, there is a, an enemy unit that has been spotted thanks to this beacon. Now this beacon's radius, as you can see, is this red dotted line that's going around in a circle about this much, right? And, and also we go to the tactical map, we can also see what unit it is, um, and that being a full stream radius squad. You can only see what unit it is by going to the tactical map, right? So, you, so this is why the, this is the like a few instances where a tactical map is necessary to check to see what the unit is because if you look at your, your mini map, you don't know what that is, so you have to go to the tactical map to spot to see what that is. But as you can see, this path, uh, this beacon that can only be laid by pathfinders um, gives you the ability to detect camo units. Now onto the third part of this video on how to use your camouflage units. So for units like the partisan. Uh, tank hunters and the infiltration troops of the partisans um, that are anti-infantry, as well as like your infiltration commanders from the commander co uh, from the uh, commander that the British have. These commanders, these infantry units, can drop in to buildings anywhere on the map that aren't occupied. So this makes them very good units for harassment. So you can take a squad like these partisans and rush in and get your opponents cut off, disconnecting them. Um, from all their resources. Now this would be a good distraction to bring your opponent's attention back to over here and then you could follow up with an assault from the from your from your side of the field uh, and while he's distracted. However this may not be the best idea 
you might want to jump out of the house and then think, right, if I grab this straight away, he's going to know, right? Because the territory's going to go down and he's going to lose his, his cutoff. What might be better is to lie in wait. Possibly plant a mine down while in cover, like here. There you go, there's a mine being planted. Being planted. Um, or you just might want to lie in wait for, us, for the sniper to come back out onto the field, for instance. You might have just retreated it off, and you're thinking, right, it's going to come out, out soon. And your opponent might not be expecting it. He might just be sending his sniper, running it to the front, and you've got a command, a, a, um, a partisan sword ready there to then kill the enemy sniper. Now, the best time to engage an enemy sniper is when it's on, when it's on top of your partisan sword. Do not ever engage it from range. It's not a good idea. Um... Otherwise, you know, he's going to meet you see it and retreat and your part, your pe part, especially parts from PPSH and even commandos and the sand guns, they don't do much damage from range. They do, they excel on their damage on close range. So what you want to do with these squads, these infiltration units, is get up really close to your opponent using using the um, the cover to advance your camouflage and then engage your enemy unit in uh, the enemy position. Another thing is about hopping cover. So here we got, we're in light cover, but you can also hop cover. So we're going to try and jump over to this truck here while trying to stay in cover. So we're going to jump up really quickly and hopefully get to the cover. Yes, there we go. We got to the uh, the cover before getting decloaked. So that's another thing about um, camouflage units um, is that they, once they jump out of cover, they still have like one, uh, two to three seconds almost of um, of time they're still in camouflage. And, and this allows you to hop um, positions and get around into other positions where cover and all while staying camouflaged right so i've been i've spawned from this house now i've managed to come over here i'm gonna hop over this fence as well all while being in camouflage you gotta be very careful though when you sometimes hop over a fence because those guys then decide to get out of camouflage and you can quickly like follow the count follow the the cover and, and stay in camouflage so we're gonna try and hop over here over to this other point of camouflage look so we're still, still saying camouflage now we're going to try over to this well so from this house we've come all the way over here mostly in camouflage so this is a great way to be able to you know really surprise your opponent because if you spawn a you know if they see um a lot of people against the pass and commander will be like right i want to stay clear of houses because I'm expecting um, that you know a partisan squad to pop out of them at any time, right? But what people don't expect is is someone to carefully micro a squad through cover to be get into a position they least expect. I mean, who's going to expect a partisan squad lying there? Uh, it's very unlikely. And then it'd be a good chance to be able to catch, like I say, catch something on, on, on retreat or possibly um, uh, kill a squad coming onto the field. And another thing, a great thing to do as well, is to lob a grenade first out of the camouflage. So say, um, you know, and also have on hold fire. Because if you don't have on hold fire, your squad immediately will engage an enemy unit as soon as they will see it, right? As soon as within shooting range. So always have them on hold fire as well. And so what you do is you have them on hold fire. Say there's a MG positioned here and you want to be like, all right, I want to quickly kill it. First you lob the grenade in first. And then you quickly follow up with the PPSH fire. And then to finish off the unit, right? Don't PPSH first, then grenade. Because the grenade is supposed to then kill the gunner. And then your PPSHs are finishing off any guys that are left remaining on the on the crew. And before they can re uh, get, get a guy on the ma machine gun to then machine your guys down. Okay, I will now illustrate that. So now we've got my, um, my partisans and they have moved out in this combat. And they're ready to ambush this MG. So well, first of all, we're going to lob the grenade on the squad. On behind it, on behind him, so we get the most, and then we quickly rush in there, and then finish off the enemy squad before he has a chance to get a full men on. And then you can quickly recruit the MG and then steal it straight away like that. Okay, so you grab it, you press remember the shift commands from earlier tips, you right click, and you can quickly steal weapons. And this is a great way to be able to steal weapons. Right, another thing to note: if you call in partisans or whatever infiltration unit that can camo um, within vision of an enemy of an enemy squad. They will not be able to cover until they leave the vision of that enemy unit. So as you can see here, there's a German officer here that is that can see these guys and therefore they are not getting camouflaged. Now if I back away around here with these partisan guys, they are now out of vision of this, this uh, artillery officer and will begin to camouflage very soon after that, I believe. So any minute now... They should regain their camouflage. There you go. They gain their camouflage because they were out of sight. Now they are free to move back within vision, or you know, sight of this guy. But now they can advance within camo because they advanced through camo to engage straight away. 
Another great advantage that camo units can bring to you is to give you line of sight of any enemy positions. So here we have some commando, a commando squad uh, on hold fire that's giving me line of sight of an enemy position here. Now I'm going to move forward, inch forward to see if I can spot anything else. Uh, I've got to be very careful though because I, I am quite close to an enemy, an enemy unit so if I get any closer I'll probably be spotted but I need to keep close onto this green cover. Now we spotted a mortar as well. So this is a great way to spot this position and then be like right now I've got a good target for my land mattresses so I'll get both of them to now uh, pummel this area. So here they go. And then while he might be retreating or is trying to panic you can then rush in with the, the, your, your squad to finish up and you've got any survivors as well. There you go. The lamb actress has taken out the right hand side flank, allowing my commanders then to push in and destroy um, any remaining forces as well by lobbing a, you know, a gamma bomb in and then wiping off a load of enemy units. Another thing which is great, especially with the land mattress that I, me uh, I mentioned in a, in a previous tip, was that the, uh, because the land mattress churns up all the ground, it, pr it creates a lot of light cover, as you can see here. Um, as previously, you know, this is ground that hasn't been torn up, that doesn't provide any cover, and all these craters provide light cover. This allows commandos to um, regain their camouflage. Now, if you manage to lay a mattress an entire field, of, um, you know, during a game, this allows your com your your infiltration units that can gain camouflage to to work they, to basically transverse the entire side of a map without breaking camo, which can really surprise your opponent. So it's a good combination of units using the commandos along with the land mattress to be able to creep into the enemy. So this, for instance, if I decide to get these land mattresses to fire here and here, I could be able to get these commandos and walk right into his base and bypass his, uh, his MG defenses because of all these craters. So yeah, try and use the commandos um, in conjunction with the, uh, the, um, the land mattresses. Now I'm just going to show you like the exact same principle again, this time with a, uh, a British sniper, he's got camo, going to use the land mattress craters as cover to advance here to provide line of sight for my fireflies to take up this uh, this king tiger. Now with this, by doing this, my you know, I can give line of sight to my fireflies and keep them at a safe range, so if the current king tiger did decide to move forward, I could easily back away and keep reversing without, you know, without the sniper providing LOS here. My fireflies would have to get closer to be able to give um, line of sight. So if I move my sniper back now, uh, we lose sight of the king tiger. And if I, you know, without my sniper, I have to use my fireflies to go forward to spot the king tiger, and then the king tiger would be in range to shoot back at these guys, as you can see, right? This way, I can keep my fireflies at a safe distance and not worry about uh, losing them. Right, I'll just finish off with one more example of how to use camouflage units. So here we have two uh, partisan tank hunter units with 80 grenades equipped with panzer shrek's li uh, lying in wait. And here we're going to set up an ambush and, and bait a, um, an enemy tank in. So here we have a T-70 like running forward here. And then we'll have this enemy P-4 come down here. And um, you know we'll spot, we'll see it. And we're like, oh no, we'll try and get away. Try and get away. Try and... Get away as fast as we can. And then lure him in. And then as soon as he gets close enough, you can lob the anti tank grenades in. Get the tank grenades in. And there you go. And once he's uh, damaged engine, he just can't escape. And we managed to bait in there an enemy tank. Hopefully not lose his T-70. There you go. Get the T-70 alive while um, taking out that, that P4 and that's a great way to be able to bait somebody in so as long as you can set up an ambush right and make sure you keep your T70 alive get the AT grenade off and then even once he's spotted the ambush right, for instance right there that was the AI, the AI doesn't retreat obviously but if that was a person even if he tried to like realise oh it was an ambush if you get the if you get the Shrek in and then the AT grenade off he won't be able to escape in time as long as you've got enough AT and keep firing, uh, following up and, and take down that P4 in time and there you go, you didn't lose a single thing in that engagement, and you've killed a P4. Um, so try and, you know, with this knowledge in mind and all the 
uh, tips that you've learned from today. Uh, hopefully, um, you can pull off these tips your, um, of your own in the future. And again, thank you for watching as always. If you've got any tips, um, you know, any recommendations on how to improve these tips or any tips of your own that you'd like to see, you know, any advice for future tips, please let me know in the comment section below. Again, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you'd like to support me as well, I'd really appreciate it. I have a Patreon page and um, and I have a Twitch stream as well, where you, which you could subscribe on. And I just try and stream Company Heroes 2 as often as I can. So thank you guys again. Hope to see you again soon. And uh, yeah, see you next week. Take care. Bye.